Amen. It's good to be in God's house one more time. And you know, I thank Him and praise Him, you know, just to be able to come more His presence, you know, do the well and, you know, just such a privilege and an honor, you know, to to just to be able, Brother Kenneth, to to come and to, to be in his house. And you know, I wanna thank each and every one of y'all, y'all, for your prayers and you know, a little card and a little basket, you know, it means a lot, you know, during this time. As Lord knows, you know, it's it's been a battle, Brother Kenneth, you know, having a house full, you know, it's you know, sick and things and it, it kinda wires on you, Brother Kenneth and Amen, and kind of wears you out just a little bit, but but Amen. We, we serve a God that's still in control, Brother Kenneth, and and Amen. You know, sometimes we go through and face things. You know, just as a child of God, Brother Kenneth, they they face things just like anybody else. And but Amen. I'm thankful tonight, Brother Steve, oh, that we have a God, Amen, that we can call upon, Brother Kenneth, and and Amen. He's always there, and He shows up right on time, and. And amen. I'm not real sure how it's going to go tonight, but hey, man, I've been reading in many different places, Brother Kenneth, and you know, throughout this week and things, and you know, just sitting and talking to God, Brother Kenneth, and you know, and you know, about many different things and stuff, and you know, just trying to learn and just grow in Him, Brother Kenneth. And and amen. I was thinking, you know, as I was reading a little bit this morning, and you know, today, you know, I was thinking about Apostle Paul, Brother Kenneth, and, and amen, his walk with the Lord, Brother Steve, and, and amen, how he began, Brother Kenneth, amen, he truly thought, amen, that he was doing God's will, and, and amen, the Bible says, amen, that he persecuted the church and things, Sister Nikki and things, and, and amen, until he took a journey one time, Brother Kenneth, and hey man, to, on the road to Damascus, Brother Kenneth, and hey man, he, he thought he was going to do something, Brother Kenneth, but hey amen, we serve a God, amen, that had other plans and things. And, and amen, I thought about, amen, that great conversion, that holy collision, Brother Kenneth, that took place. Amen, that changed, amen, Saul, amen, to Paul, amen, it changed his life, Brother Kenneth, forever. And amen, and how he went on, amen, and and no doubt, amen, his life changed tremendous, Brother Kenneth. But amen, his life, even after being converted, Brother Kenneth, amen, the Bible, according to the word, amen, it was no better roses. Amen, the Bible said, amen, that he knowed, amen, what, what it meant to be hungry, Brother Kenneth. Amen, he knowed what it meant, amen, to be beaten and things, cast into prison and things, and, and amen, and I've been reading, you know, a lot about him, and, and amen, as I was sitting down and reading today, Brother Kenneth, amen, as he appeared, amen, before Agrippa and things, and, and amen, just one little verse, amen, that stood out, and, and amen, with the help of the Lord, amen, I will bring forth tonight, amen, what he would have, and, amen, from this one little verse, but amen, Paul, amen, he became, amen, a mighty man of God, Brother Kenneth, and, amen, after his conversion, but amen, as I was talking to the Lord and things, and you know, I always ask him, Brother Kenneth, amen, Lord, I, what would you have, amen, for me to bring forth, amen, to your sons and daughters, and, and amen, if there are any be lost in the house, amen, you know, that's the most important to me, amen, to see a lost soul, amen, brought to the foot of Calvary, but amen, with the help of the Lord tonight, we're going to be in the book of Acts chapter 26, and and amen, I'm not going, just one little passage of scripture here, but amen, just kind of paraphrase this chapter, Brother Kenneth, amen, Paul, uh, uh, you know, comes before Agrippa and things, and amen, he begins to tell them, amen, about what took place, amen, of his conversion and things, and amen, of the new birth, amen, that he had, Brother Matthew, and amen, I believe if there ever was a time, amen, as a child of God, that we begin to tell people, amen, about the new birth and what took place, amen, it's this day and hour which we live, amen, because, amen, as I was reading, amen, this chapter 26, Brother Kenneth, amen, this one little passage of scripture, amen, stood out to me and the Lord began to deal with me on it, amen, and book of Acts chapter 26 here, amen, verse 26, says, for the king knoweth of these things before who, whom also I speak freely. For I am persuaded that none of these things are hidden from him, for this thing was not done in a corner. 
King Agrippa believest thou the prophets? I know that thou believest. And Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. And amen. As I begin to read that, that verse 28 there, Brother Kenneth, amen, I begin to think about that right there, amen, as Paul began to tell, amen, Agrippa, amen, about his new birth, Brother Kenneth. And amen, the Bible said that, amen, Agrippa said thou almost persuadest me to be a Christian. And amen, I believe, amen, in this day and time, Brother Kenneth, amen, as a child of God goes along, amen, if we're not careful, amen, we allow the enemy, Brother Kenneth, amen, to step in and truly, amen, not believe, amen, what we got. And amen, I begin to think about, amen, Agrippa there. Amen, I believe he heard about a man named Jesus and things. And amen, I believe there's many out there, Brother Matthew, in this day and hour. Amen, they've heard, amen, who Jesus was. And amen, in many conversations, Brother Kenneth, amen, you hear them say, I almost, amen, went to God's house. Amen, I almost went to the altar that night and prayed. But amen, we're living in a time, Brother Kenneth, that amen, that almost, amen, in her spirit, amen, is not going to get it done. Amen, I believe, Brother Matthew, amen, if there was a time, amen, we need to be all in, it's now. Amen, especially in this day and hour, Brother James, which we live in. Amen, that almost, Brother Kenneth, being persuaded, amen, is not going to get me in, amen, those pearly gates, Brother Matthew. Why? Because that almost means I'm still hanging on, amen, to that old path, Brother Kenneth. Amen, I'm still hanging on, amen, to the things, amen, of the world and things. But amen, I like to encourage you tonight, amen, if you got almost, amen, in your spirit, amen, if there was a time to get it out, amen, it's now. Amen. Now's not the time, amen, to be in one day and out the next. But amen, to get that almost persuading, amen, out. Amen. And be all in. Amen, Paul. Amen. I no doubt, amen, preached his heart out to him right there, Brother Kenneth. Amen. Tell them, amen, how he used to be and how he used to persecute the church and things. But amen, he had that holy collision, Brother Matthew, that took place. Amen. On that road of Damascus, Brother Kenneth. Amen. And I believe, amen, that's what the world needs today. Amen, Brother Steve, is that holy collision, amen, that Paul had. And amen, I understand too, Brother Kenneth. Amen, sometimes. Amen, no matter. Just like Paul here, amen, when he was talking. Amen to Agrippa and Bernice, I think that's how you pronounce it. Amen, you see, no doubt he preached his heart out to them. Amen, told them the truth, amen, about his experience. Amen, his testimony and how the Lord, amen, truly changed him. And amen, it took, amen, if you realize, amen, it took Jesus, amen, appearing, amen, to us all, amen, on that road. Amen in order for him to heed. Amen. I believe in this day and time, amen, it may take, amen, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, amen, to exactly appear to them. Amen. Why? Because just like right here, amen, Agrippa didn't heed, amen, what Paul, amen, had to say. Amen. He simply told them, he said, they're almost, amen, persuadeth me to be a Christian. But amen, when I stand before the Lord, Brother Kenneth, Amen. That almost, amen, is not going to get me in. Amen. I'm afraid I'll hear, the, hear those words, Brother Kenneth. Amen. Depart from me. Amen. You workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. Amen. There won't be no excuse, Brother Kenneth. But amen. I like to encourage you tonight. Amen. That almost is not going to get it done, Brother Kenneth. Amen. You see, there were some things there, amen, that Agrippa didn't want to let loose of, Brother Kenneth. Amen. No doubt he heard, Brother Steve, amen, about Jesus. Amen. And how he maybe rose from the dead. Amen. Maybe he believed part of it, Brother Matthew. But amen, there was something he was still lacking, Brother Kenneth. Amen. He was still hanging on, amen, to a part, amen, of that old Amen, the old ways that he truly didn't want to let go of. 
Hey, man, that's kind of like that rich man, Brother Kenneth. And Hey, man, and, and he even said, all these things I've done from my youth up. But, hey, man, Jesus told them there's only one thing that they'll lack us. You see, just one little thing, Sister Cindy, it'll knock us out, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, if we're not careful. Hey, man, the, the Bible told them, hey, man, to go sell that they'll have and give to the poor, and they shall have eternal life. And the Bible said, amen, that he went away sorrowful, and, and Brother Kenneth, because he had great possessions, didn't want to give it up. But amen, what are you hanging on to tonight? Amen, because almost, Brother Matthew, is not going to be good enough, Brother Kenneth. Amen, it's not going to get it done when we stand before the Lord. But amen, if you've got almost... Lord, I almost surrendered everything. Hey, man, I almost did it, Lord, but quite, quite not, Brother Kenneth. But, but hey, man, I like to encourage you tonight. Hey, man, if there's anything, hey, man, that you're hanging on to, hey, man, get it under the blood. Hey, man, stop hanging on to it. Hey, man, because it's not going to do you any good. Hey, man, hanging on to that old, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, you got to lay it all down. Hey, man, and like Sister Amy said, I don't know why people don't want to serve the Lord, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, he's the best thing, hey, man, that mankind, hey, man, has ever found, Brother Kenneth. And hey, man, but it's just, you could just see the wickedness and things, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, and the hold, hey, man, that it has out there on the world, Brother Kenneth. And amen, and, and you can see it. Amen, a lot of times, Brother Kenneth, and amen, it's crept, crept right into the church houses to where, you know, even as a child of God, Brother Kenneth, they don't, truly don't want to let, let it all go. But there's things, amen, that you want to keep hanging on to. And amen, and the Lord's saying, you know, surrender it all. Amen, come and lay it down. Amen. But I believe sometimes, Brother Kenneth, and, hey man, it may take Jesus and himself appearing to him. Hey amen. Just the way it done, Paul, here. And hey amen. If that's what it takes, hey amen. Thank God for it. Hey amen. Thank God, hey amen, that he came by your way. Hey amen. And showed you, hey, you're hanging on to this. And hey amen. As long as you're hanging on to this, hey amen, I can't dwell fully, Brother Kenneth. Hey amen. Because that's the only thing, hey amen, that'll separate you, hey amen, from God, hey amen, is sin. Hey amen. Hanging on to the old ways, hey amen, it'll hinder you, hey amen, from going any farther, Brother Kenneth. Why? Because Jesus, hey amen, if you don't get it out, Brother Kenneth, hey amen, God's Spirit, hey amen, can't dwell. Hey man, where uncleanness is. But hey man, if there's anything, hey man, that you truly haven't let go of, hey man, he's just a prayer away. Hey man, he, he's saying tonight, hey man, come and lay it down. Hey man, because oh, almost being persuaded, Brother Kenneth, hey man, it is not going to get it done. Hey man, especially in this day and hour which we live. Hey man, because that darkness is coming. Hey man, it is here upon the world. Hey man, and you can just see it, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, that darkness. Hey man, it's very dark. I believe, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, and I believe that midnight hour. Hey man, is up on us, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, he even told the disciples. Hey man, you know he is telling them. Hey man, back then. Hey man, that you know it was night hand. In other words, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, that's over two thousand years ago. Hey man, what is it now? Hey Amen. Where are we standing now? Hey Amen. Just like Noah and, and preparing that ark, Brother Kenneth. And, hey Amen. Uh, the the Bible said that hey Amen. That that God saw man's heart. Hey Amen. That it was evil, Brother Kenneth. Uh, continually. Hey Amen. And how God, hey Amen, looked down and hey Amen. He found grace, hey Amen, in Noah. Hey Amen, and his family, and he told them. Hey, man, Noah, all this wickedness has come up before me. 
But amen, I'm thankful, amen, for a man named Noah that he found that grace, Brother Kenneth. And amen, he began to give Noah instructions, Brother Kenneth, amen, on what to do, how to prepare, amen, that ark, Brother Matthew, right down to a T. Amen, he gave him instructions, but it was Noah's responsibility, amen, to follow those instructions, Brother Matthew. And amen, the Bible even says, amen, that the God's Spirit would not always strive with man. Amen, and even put like 120 years or something like that on it, Brother Kenneth. Amen, I believe during those 120 years, amen, that Noah, amen, the Bible said that he was a minister of righteousness, Brother Kenneth. Amen, I believe, amen, for in all that time in building that ark, amen, he was warning and preparing, amen, working, amen, because he knew, amen, what light ahead. He knew what was coming, Brother Matthew. Amen. I, as a child of God, Brother Kenneth, we know without a shadow of a doubt, Brother Matthew, amen, that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is soon to return. Amen. amen. Now's the time to prepare. Amen. Now's the time to prepare. But amen, if you've got almost, amen, in your spirit, and there's things that you're hanging on to, amen, let it go. Hey man, let it go. Because in the end, it's not going to be worth it, Brother Kenneth. And, hey man, that almost, hey man's not going to be good enough. Amen. Hey man, when we stand before him. But hey man, I like to encourage you tonight. Hey man, that's between you and God. Hey man, just like Noah prepared, Brother Kenneth. And, hey man, just like Agrippa's choice here. Hey man, it was his choice, hey man, to. To surrender everything, turn everything over, amen, to Jesus. Amen, or hang on to it. Amen, and he made this statement, amen, that that he almost, Paul almost persuaded him, Brother Kenneth, into being a Christian. But I like to encourage you tonight, to, amen, almost. Amen, it's not going to do it. Amen, I like to encourage you, amen, to surrender it all. Amen. Whatever it is you're hanging on to. Amen. The Bible says it's the small foxes, Brother Kenneth, that spoil the vine. Amen. It might not be nothing great, amen, or anything like that. But amen, it may be something, amen, that you're hanging on to. Amen. Maybe part of the old way, amen, that God's wanting you to let go of. Amen. I like to encourage you tonight. Amen. Just come and lay it down at his feet. Amen, and surrender to him tonight. If we all would, we'll find us a place to pray tonight.